is a celebration Superman extravaganza. They have brought all kinds of Superman arcana here, including all of these suits through history. You just came out of a panel, Dan DeDeal. Tell me, what was the panel about? Well, we just did a, a, a full panel with about 2,000 people talking about Superman's 75th anniversary, which has been a year-long celebration for us. When you think about Superman in the 75 years it existed, he's been in the media almost as long as he's been in comics. This is a person or character that's been on the radio. He's been in television shows. He's been in animation. He's had major motion pictures, and he's always been in the American psyche for so long that it's great to be able to celebrate it. You have all the suits here and all the fans clamoring to get closer to these suits. Which one is your personal favorite? This is one of my personal favorites. It's the Christmas costume from the third Superman movie. It's when he was the evil Superman, and the costume turned dark around it, and I think there was just something great. The interesting thing you'll see in the Man of Steel suits is that you see much more texture that's built into the suits themselves. There's a lot more subtlety, and it's a lot darker in style. Let's talk about the Smallville suit. Yeah, I think what's fun about the Smallville suit is because it captures the essence of the series itself. For the many years it was on the air, they made a very strong statement, which was that you were never going to see Clark Kent as Superman. This is about him growing up and maturing into that role. What's fun about it is that they found different ways to give the impression of it. So you get the S shield that's painted onto the chest, and he gets the long black jacket, which gives the feel of the flowing of the cape. And this one, of course, the granddaddy of them all. I think this is the most classic of all the suits. I mean, this one captures almost a perfect feel of what the comics were about. Everything from the red, the blue, and the yellow, even to the V-cut in the top of his boots, which was something that was very distinctive about Superman's design. So I think this is the most traditional suit, and I think probably this is the one everybody remembers the most. Even though that movie was back in 1978, I think it still resonates to this day with so many people. There's a timelessness about this design because it, it captures a lot of the iconography from Superman's costume as it was first designed. So it's still here, it's still vibrant, and I think it stands the test of time.